Hey there, everyone. Today, we'll be discussing how to create a WooCommerce order form for easier shopping. You can find links to a full written tutorial as well as the plugins mentioned in this video in the description. Using a WooCommerce order form is an efficient way to showcase your offerings in a compact layout style. Instead of a standard shop page, an order form lets you show more products on the same page in a structured table format. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create an order form similar to this. As you can see, each product will have its own row in the table. There are also Add to Cart buttons and a filtering feature at the top. To get started, we'll need two plugins. The first is WooCommerce to power your e-commerce store. We'll assume you already have this free tool set up on your WordPress website. If not, you'll want to install it and set up your online shop first. It's also important to make sure that you have all the products you want to feature in the table uploaded to your store. We also suggest adding product categories if you haven't already. This setting is especially important if you have a large shop with a lot of offerings. The second plugin that you'll need to install is a premium tool called WooCommerce Product Table. It lets you easily create professional WooCommerce order forms that include essential elements like Add to Cart buttons. To get it, you can visit the Barn2 website and click on Buy Plugin. After choosing your plan, you can download and install the plugin on your WordPress site. Once you have both of these tools ready to go on your website, you can get started. First, we'll configure the WooCommerce product table shortcode defaults. Navigate to WooCommerce, Settings, Products, Product Tables. There are a lot of settings here, so we'll only cover the most important ones. As you'll see here, you can use the default table style or select Custom to customize it. Here, you can adjust the border color and size. You can also customize the header, cell background color, and the fonts. For now, we'll leave it as the default style. Under Table Content, you'll find the Column Settings. Here, you can configure what information appears on the form. You can add or remove the parameters as necessary. Next, you can navigate to the Add to Cart section. Here, you can control how the Add to Cart button functions. You can present it as a button, a checkbox, or both. Under Table Controls, you can configure the filtering and search options on the order form. The filtering feature is ideal if you have a long list of products. However, if you only have a few products, you can leave the filter disabled. You can also adjust where the search box appears on the order form. Once you finish creating your order form table, select the Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen. After styling the table, you'll want to tell it which products to display on your order form. To do that, you can add parameters to your shortcode. The standard shortcode for the order form table is open bracket, product, underscore, table, close bracket. However, you can add a category, tag, or term parameter. For example, let's say you only wanted to include the hats category from your store. You could add this parameter to the product table shortcode. You simply need to add category, an equal sign, then the category name in quotation marks. You can also use this same formula but substitute the category for tags or terms. If you want to display all your products, you can stick with the original product table shortcode. Now the only thing left to do is add the shortcode where you want your order form to appear on your website. We'll add ours to the shop page. However, you can insert an order form nearly anywhere on your site, including your posts and widget areas. You can also add multiple order forms to a page if you wish. 
Once you're done, click on the Update button in the top right-hand corner. To view it on the front end of your site, you can select the Preview button. Now, you should be able to see the order form on your WooCommerce site. You can play around with the form to see how it functions. As you can see, users will be able to quickly browse your product offerings, then add items to their cart with a single click. That's it! You can find links to a full tutorial and the products mentioned in this video below in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.